Phantasm V Ravager is a movie that Phantasm fans have been waiting 17 years for. And I say fans very deliberately because this movie was made specifically for the fans. If you've been following the series, Mike Jody and mostly Reggie have been following this entity called the Tall Man. The Tall Man is this being that's been traveling from dimension to dimension and stealing all of the dead to turn them into his army. After explaining the history of the Tall Man in Phantasm IV Oblivion in 1998, they were trying to lead up to this really big finale with Phantasm V. Originally, it was supposed to be a team of mercenaries or Navy SEALs led by Bruce Campbell, and it was going to have Reggie and some of the other characters from the series, and they were going to be hunting down the Tall Man, and it was going to be this really big, awesome, action-packed, badass movie where they were crossing from dimension to dimension and finally taking the fight to the Tall Man's home. Unfortunately, for whatever reason, they could just never get the funding for the movie, and that was the biggest problem with it. For a movie that was supposed to be the big grand finale of this series, it just looked really, really cheap. Apparently they've been filming it on and off on weekends uh, over the course of a really long time. I don't know exactly how long. Evidently it was going on for quite a while to try to get enough footage to put the whole thing together. With something like this, it's a 40-year-old property, and it's very beloved. It's got some incredibly loyal fans, and I can't understand how they couldn't even get a million dollars for this. I've seen tiny garbage productions that have gotten a million dollars, and this has a lot more interest behind it. I would have thought that somebody would have been able to pony up that kind of money. Evidently, the budget is somewhere around 300000 but I've heard rumors that it was significantly lower than that. You could tell that they did kind of keep a lot of the ideas that they had originally. There's the whole storyline that was supposed to have Bruce Campbell in it, and I think more or less Reggie took over that, and they ended up having him be the uh, badass hero. Um, I mean, he's kind of been the hero of this series ever since 2. It was more not supposed to be him, but in 2 and then beyond, it really became the story about Reggie versus the tall man. So they did focus the story a lot on his journey, about how it was kind of coming to its end, and how he was going to finally be able to face off with the Tall Man. Angus Scrimm, who played the Tall Man, this was his last role, and for being a guy who, I believe he was in his 90s when they were filming this, was still incredibly menacing, and I had the pleasure of meeting him a few years ago, and he was the nicest guy in the world. He could not have been cooler, and it was just funny because here was this actor who played this character that had been scaring the shit out of me since I was little, and I finally get to meet him, and he's just the coolest guy. In the movie, his presence was felt he did a lot of standing ominously and it's kind of one of the staples of the character and there was one point where they had him walking down a hallway and I'm pretty sure it was a stunt double that was walking down because I don't think that uh, he was really walking that well at this point it was great that he was able to be in this, and it was nice that they were able to give some closure to this, that they didn't end it with 4, because 4 ended on such a cliffhanger. And with this, even though the ending is very open to interpretation, it still felt like they gave a little bit of closure to it. One thing I wasn't expecting, they had some cameos by a lot of characters that have been in the series over the years. I don't want to spoil it for the fans who haven't seen it yet, but I'll just say keep an eye out for a few people, uh, one in particular, that I was not expecting to see. So I think that, once again, proving that they were doing this for the fans, that made the fans very happy. Phantasm V Ravager, unfortunately, is not the ending that the fans were hoping for, but it's still a good, fanservice-heavy ending to the series. There are times when the movie looks really good, and there are times when the movie looks really bad, and unfortunately, that does kind of undermine a lot of it. Mainstream audiences would most likely turn this movie off after about five minutes, so if you are not a fan of the series or you've never even heard of the series, I would not start here. It won't make any sense, and you'll probably hate it because of just how low budget it is. If you're a fan of the series, I know you want to see how it ends, and unfortunately, some of you are going to be disappointed. I don't think that anybody will be completely satisfied, but I think that, in general, understanding everything that they went through to finally get this thing made, I think you'll kind of come away with some appreciation of it. It's just a shame it couldn't have been better.